Hi, welcome to the ramen world. Thank you, thank you. Today is shoyu ramen. I used the ramen. This is shoyu ramen. This is Funatsu. Thank you. Yesterday, I cooked ramen and cheese. I cooked the miso ramen. を作りました。覚えてあるかどうかわかりませんけど、ご飯とラーメンの麺とチーズをフライパンでこんがるなるまで焼いて、それを味噌ラーメンのソースをかけて食べたラーメンです。今日は作り方は大体一緒ですが、
hide it onto the ball. Then add the thick soup and garnish with basil. I think it's like the tamen, tamen sauce, I mean the soup itself, it's kind of rich, I mean it's really rich and like the texture <laughs> of the soup is just different though, that, that's what I like about it, it's more thick. Yeah, I want the crispy part. You want to, okay, you want a crispy part? <laughs> Here you go, you can have it. Since the soup is really thick, it sticks to the noodle, not like normal soup, because normal soup is liquid and it goes down to the bottom of the bowl which doesn't really have much flavor to the noodles but since the soup has a really thick consistency it sticks to the ramen noodle which makes it really really richer and really savory Was you now? Yeah. I'm really surprised on how it tasted I think for me the crunchy part is like the best part of this ramen so you really have to try this. This is really good. I agree with you on the crunchy part. <laughs> when I ate it, it tasted like cheese and yeah. So like crun really crunchy daiski? Mm. Oh, good. And then you can really taste the flavor. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people love this it really goes with lots of things we also have a video about it nine different kinds of arrangements of yakisoba um, it's really good spicy to curry eggs to garlic they're all good so you should try this before it's too late so thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe like and comment and don't forget to hit that link button so you can get more notifications from us and this is really good i loved how rich and really thick it was. I really love the soup and well, the crunchy noodle that's also mixed with rice and cheese. It was really good. I thought it was really good and you can really taste the cheese and my favorite part is the crunchy part of the soup. So it might be similar but then like it's all about this creativity, imagination of your ideas to make this own original ramen. So uh, if you could learn from this and that would be a great thing. And we're like we're uh, uh, we are happy to see if you guys also have uh, any requests from it. So give it a like. So thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.